One can only use a resource to the extent it is available. Each resource's availability has limits. Water is a finite resource. Only around 1.2% of all water is drinkable. Usable water is often polluted during logging due to soil erosion when processing ores and mining by heavy metals. Unusable and toxic water affects surrounding ecosystems, including rivers and the ocean. Natural resources like coal, oil and gas take millions of years to form. Trees take decades, if not hundreds of years, to reach maturity. The mining of these natural resources and the culling of trees is detrimental to the environment, requiring many generations to replace. Context-based metrics provides the means to measure impact. Use of resources relative to availability. Using more than is available is not possible, and thus the reduction, reuse and repurposing of resources is instrumental to our future. Recycling plays a huge role in sustainability. Imagine if the same entities that are mining and logging were employing carbon sequestration and recycling and reusing their wastewater. The systemic holistic model considers the scale of impacts as determined by the usage of finite resources from a science-based and context-based viewpoint. Context-based metrics is one of Thrive Framework's 12 foundational focus factors. It is a credible, measurable and implementable transformation mechanism that addresses the current crisis, pushing us beyond sustainability and towards thriveability, thereby ensuring that present and future generations can enjoy a sustainable society and thrivable future.